And good day. Today we're having a look at this. It's a Top Tro Multimedia Projector. It's the X7 model. Home Theatre HD Audio Visual Experience. I'll have a quick look at the box. As it says here, Auto Focus, Auto Keystone, supports 4K. It's actually 1080p native, but it does support 4K. It's got Hi-Fi sound. And that's about it. And on the other side here, gives you the size. Uh, the colour, it uh, has fairly low consumption of power, 75 watts, which is good. Uh, it uh, runs 50 to 60 hertz, and uh, that's about it. The rest of it's just telling you about the, the product itself, where it's made, and who imports it, etc, etc. So, and of course, made in China. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, first up we have a warranty card. So we've got something for scanning on the other. Oh, that's okay. Scan to activate for a three year warranty. That's not bad. It's got one year um, proper coverage with th uh, three years of support if you need it. And a little thing here saying thank you. And a bit of info on the other side here, which we'll have a look at shortly. Let's get this thing open. Okay. This is everything that came in the box. You've got a lens cleaning rag, a user manual. The remote control doesn't have any batteries, so you will need two AAA batteries. HDMI cable, a warranty card, You've got an audio jack, three banana plugs at one end, uh, 3.5 jack at the other end. The Top Tro X7 itself. You've got a power cord, obviously for your country. This is an Australian one. And a thank you card. And this is the Top Tro user manual, the X7 version. It's quite nice. The paper is you know, quite reasonable. It's quite high quality. And it's in colour. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's legible. Well laid out and not bad at all. On the front we have a projector lens cover which is over the top of an optical coated glass lens. We have an IR window which is the infrared signal receiver and we have a camera which is uh, used for the autofocus. On the back we've got an RJ45 Ethernet connector, two type A USB ports, we have two HDMI outlets, we have a 3.5mm AV jack and 3.5mm headphone jack. We have another infrared sensor. And down the bottom here, this is the power uh, supply. So you plug it in there. On the bottom, you have four rubberized feet. A quarter inch mount. So you can pop that onto a tripod if you like. You also have this little bit here. This is an, an adjustable foot, which screws in or out, as you can see. With the handy quarter inch screw mount at the bottom of the Top Tro X7 projector, you can easily mount it to different devices like the tripod that I've used uh, in this section of the video. I have a decibel reader quite close to the projector. 
I will go quiet for a few seconds, we'll get a background reading, then I will turn on the projector and we'll get a reading with it running. So, as you can see, it is a very quiet projector. This is the wall we'll be projecting on. I'm turning on the projector right now, and I'll be turning the light off directly behind me. Give you an idea of what it's like. And this is the boot up process. go through a few seconds to get going now it's going to go into autofocus mode and once it's finished the autofocus it will do a bit of keystoning to correct the, the wall the image and we're nearly there and we'll have the main screen up which is what we'll be checking out in a few seconds And there we are, that's Keystone and Focus Corrected. And this is the main screen. We have AV in, we have HDMI 1 in, HDMI 2 in. Invisible Art is actually screen savers, so you've got a series of images here which you can select whatever you like. You also have the ability to add your own, which is rather nice. The browser, I've already set up the network, so the browser is fully functional. But if you don't have your network connected, it will not uh, allow you to, well, funny enough, get on the internet. MaxHub Share itself is a sharing device, so you can use your Android phone or your iOS phone to control the, uh, the projector itself. Now, I've already got the app installed, so we'll have a quick look at it. And as you can see, it's now picked up on the projector itself. It's now connected. We've got a screen mirror. You can do video, picture, remote screen, remote control, or my application. So we'll do remote control. Click on start. You can control the actual projector from the mobile phone. As you can see, it's working quite nicely there. You've got little controls on the side here as well that work both ways. Um, speaker can be increased or decreased and you can turn on or off and we will turn it off so everything's fully functional on this little remote control this media section will come back to it uh, once we go to the main settings we'll just slip over to the left here you've got uh, network I've already set up the network so that's uh, working nicely for me media now i've had a four terabyte ntfs formatted drive in here and it works flawlessly we'll go back again settings this is where you control how the projector itself starts up and your projection you've got front ceiling rear and ceiling rear now these are the standard settings. I don't like automatic focusing set and I don't like movement focusing and automatic correction. I prefer to manually override them. So I've just turned them off. Reset just basically resets anything you've done like with the square trapezoid. If you've changed something there, it just simply corrects back to where it was prior. So shut down. Custom zoom, which is turned off. Now, if you turn it on, it gives you the ability to zoom in or out to wherever you want, which is rather nice to have. Time, I've already set mine. I'm in Australia, so we need uh, obviously 10 plus, which is 10 hours in, t in front of uh, Greenwich Mean Time. You can change the format to whatever you like, 24 hour clock or 12 hour clock. Commons, which is a handy one here. This is giving you uh, full access to all the different, uh, well, bits and pieces in here, as you can see. Power mode, standby, on, last, 
recovery. Now if you click on this one, this does a complete factory reset. Bluetooth, I've already set up a couple of devices as you can see there. So everything's working very nicely. I've already set up a couple of Bluetooth devices uh, so you can see them connected there. Everything's working very nice. Now the App Store itself it comes already with a, quite a list of uh, different things you can select in here. So you can just simply scroll to the side, give you a bit of an idea. So as you can see, there's quite a few to choose from. And any of these, if you go over to the side, Quite easy to install these particular programs. I've already done so. I've got some of my own apps already in here. These are the ones I've selected myself, already installed them. One thing you should be aware of, if you intend to install either Prime Video or Netflix, you're going to have to hold down the menu button on the remote control for three seconds, and that will switch it over to mouse mode. Once you're in mouse mode, you can then click in the data entry area and you will have a keyboard pop up and you enter your details as required. Another easy way to do it is to simply connect a USB mouse. I've got Prime Video installed already and this is just to show you guys that it does run nicely on the Toptro projector. I'm not going to be running uh, these videos for too long because I don't wish to get a well, you know, copyright strike, we'll just swing it through, we'll stop it wherever it's stopped. That'll do there, we'll be on June it looks like. And we resume, 21 minutes left, let's click on it. And away we go. Now, as you can see, it works nicely, and that's as far as I'm going to go with uh, this particular movie. I don't want a copyright strike, as I said. I've got all my apps installed on the front page, as you can see here. We'll go to YouTube. We'll do a search for a copyright-free uh, video. And as you can see, I've already searched for it before, so we'll use that. Yeah, I found one that's not bad, so we'll use it. Gives you an idea of the video quality and what audio to expect. I'll turn up the volume. As you can hear, it's uh, quite good. It doesn't distort at high volume, which is excellent. I've turned off the audio at this point in the video, so you can get an idea of the size of the screen and still hear me talking. Otherwise, you would be hearing the music in the background and you wouldn't be able to appreciate the size of this screen. It is. My final thoughts on the Toptro X7. Um, projector that is, it's working really well. I've been finding myself sitting here watching videos more than I should be. I actually should be creating them, but I'm not. I'm actually watching them and loving every second of it. For the price, this is an excellent projector. It's far superior to the Blitzwolf, the old one that I've got. Uh, I might do a comparison at a later date so you can see between the two of them. But uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter, whatever. Leave a comment. Perhaps you've got some uh, fantastic app that I haven't installed and I should do it. You know, I'd really appreciate that. Hopefully I'll even get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the very best till then. Bye for now.